Hi, so, first off, the world is burning and we're all doomed. Yep, climate change, it's a doozy. And it's really important that we all do our bit to help the environment, including cutting down the single-use straws if we're able to. But not all disabled people are able to. However, whilst doing your bit personally is really important, we also need to be focusing our energies on big corporations, because they're the ones letting us down. We're being encouraged to turn the ban single-use plastics narrative on each other. To the extent that people leave me messages daily saying, oh well, the world can do without disabled people and disabled people are a sacrifice worth making. FYI, that's called supporting genocide. And honey, that's never a good look. You need to be angry at the multinational corporations who are supporting the straw ban for clout and yet aren't actually investing in researching alternatives that work for everyone. Because the current reusable alternatives don't. Here's why. Metal. These seem like a great idea because you can keep them clean, but they can't be used with a hot liquid. Ouch! And if a person's on a liquid diet in hospital, that's a lot of cold soup. And they're often coated, which then falls apart. This used to be coated in a pink plastic and I don't even want to think about how much of that's in my system now. They're held in one position. Even the bent ones may curve, but they don't flex. How is this useful? Most importantly though, they're an injury risk. You could just be drinking your drink and then you have a seizure and you're cracking your teeth and sending it through a soft palate. A woman recently died whilst drinking through a metal straw and she slipped and fell and it went through her eye. Paper. Environmentally friendly, except the ones that have an inner wax coating because then you can't actually recycle them. Also, but then the ones that don't disintegrate and become a choking hazard. Plus you can't use them while you're lying down. Or with hot liquids. Basically, they're three to five times more expensive than plastic straws and kind of completely useless to many disabled people. But please do use them if you can. Just don't judge other people for not being able to. Side note, just last year in the UK, McDonald's axed its plastic straws, which could be recycled, and replaced them with paper straws, which were too thick to be recycled and had to go into general waste. I... Uh... Glass. Do I really need to tell you why putting a glass straw in the mouth of someone who shakes, has seizures, or is mentally incapable of knowing you shouldn't bite down on it is a bad idea? Also again, can't use them while lying down. And they're weirdly expensive for something so useless. Silicone. These seem so fun. Sadly, they just don't bend properly. Mm. And sometimes they float to the top of your drink. Also, they have a very strange mouthfeel and I seem to never be able to suck liquids up them quickly. Am I doing this wrong? Acrylic. An allergy risk. Who knew? Also an injury risk. Yes, they can take teeth out too. And you can't use them with hot liquids or bend them. They can also be pretty expensive. Pasta. There's literally nothing good about these straws, except they're not incredibly expensive. They're an allergy risk, injury risk, choking hazard, dissolvable, breakdown in hot water, and an utter waste of your money. Bamboo. Oh my God, I hate bamboo straws. I have cut my lip three times now, and I honestly just cannot. Interestingly, some people are actually really allergic to them, and they're not positionable, and they're either too wide or too narrow, just, mm. and they're really expensive. Biodegradable. This is such a great idea. I have loads of them, and I use them all the time. I mean, it doesn't make me want to not cry about the price, though, or stop people from yelling at me on the internet. The funny thing is, they do biodegrade within six months, but you can't actually do that in a regular household composter because it doesn't get hot enough. So you've got to put it into landfill like a regular plastic straw. But as I said, it does take six months to break down. So at any point within that six months, it could find its way into the ocean and the nose of a poor little turtle. Also, can I just point out, biodegrading when it is methane anyway? Oh God, I'm panicking internally. Please remember to dispose of your biodegradable straws safely by cutting them in half lengthways. Oh, and these are also an allergen risk. Look, it's right that we reduce our plastic consumption, obviously, but shouldn't we maybe focus on the ones that don't keep people alive? Do false nails keep anyone alive? No. Do helium balloons? No. Do cigarette butts? No. Let's get rid of those first, and then, and only, then, once there is a proper alternative, 
get rid of plastic straws. And I mean genuinely only once there's an alternative. <sighs> Look, just go and fight some big businesses, okay? Make them invest in the environment. A recent study says just 100 companies are responsible for 71% of the world's emissions. To which you may say, well, if they're that essential, disabled people should just bring their own straws. And we do. I carry at least five of the things with me in my handbag, but I also have memory problems, so I forget to remove them and clean them and put them back. So I tend to make myself ill a lot by taking one of these disgusting things from the bottom of my bag when a restaurant won't provide me with one, drinking from it and destroying my own compromised immune system. Oh, and everyone who comments, she looks fine to me, has just volunteered to come and look after me on a day when I'm in so much pain I can't even scream. And all I want to do is vomit over the side of the bed. Thanks guys, that's actually really helpful. Do I need to use a single-use plastic straw every day? No, and I don't. But I will defend to the death the rights of people who do need them. It's not sharing the burden of being plastic free when that burden is deeply unequal. You cannot say you care about the world without caring for those who are most helpless. Also, I assume you're not watching this on a mobile phone, right? Because of the environmental and societal issues. Oh, and I'm a disabled person and I don't need straws, so no disabled person needs them. Is not a valid argument. I'm a redhead and I hate chocolate. Therefore, I know as an empirical fact that all redheads hate chocolate. Oh, and it should be banned for them. Actually, I'm going to ban it for everyone. Sorry chaps, chocolate's now banned.